Hi, I'm the Casual Spaceman and welcome to my new look channel. I hope you like the look of it. This graphic is to mark the 50th anniversary of Apollo 11 and to mark the suspicious occasion between the 16th and the 24th of July this year, I'm holding a series of hangouts, debates and videos to mark the occasion. So I hope you can join me then. But today's debunk comes from a video from Natuba and it's about the ISS. But to help me, I've asked for help from One Minute Debunk. So let's get into it. Namaste. So, on January 3rd, 2018, there was a major malfunction on what's called the International Space Station. No, no there wasn't. In a video on NASA's YouTube channel called Space Station Crew Members Discuss Life in Space with the Media, the three actornauts, <clears throat> excuse me, ass astronauts all disappear simultaneously while the background layer of the ISS remains intact. Thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for your time. Have a good flight and uh, many more exciting experiments on the orbit. Thanks a lot. Station Mrs. Houston ACR, that concludes the event. When you look at this thing, this thing, this, and the actors, they are the only things that mess up. Watch closely. This is a big deal because it means without any doubt whatsoever that there was live editing and video manipulation. Not only would the background get scrambled as well, but these guys wouldn't all disappear at the same time. So check that one out on NASA's channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Bit of a weird anomaly, isn't it? At first I wasn't really 100% sure what was causing it, although I had a fair idea it had something to do with the transmission. But I didn't really have the knowledge to really explain it. So, unlike our conspiracy theory friends, I decided to actually do some research and it didn't take me long to actually found somebody who could actually explain it and that somebody happens to have a YouTube channel and that YouTube channel it goes by the name of One Minute Debunk. So I'm going to allow my good friend One Minute Debunk to explain that no this was not a major malfunction. So take it away 1MD. Hi I'm One Minute Debunk. The casual spaceman sent me a link to a video from NASA, and uh, oh my gosh, it's reptilian CGI! Or maybe it's a transmission error. Digital video works by classifying all frames as either iframes or P frames. iframes are just like JPEG images. P frames are smaller, they tell the computer how to produce one frame by making minor adjustments to the previous one. After all, most frames in a video look very similar to their neighbours. If some frames go missing, get corrupted, or are duplicated, the following P frames will be making adjustments to the wrong image, and the resulting video will be all weird until it reaches the next iframe. If you want the smoking gun, I'll take this video clip, duplicate some P frames, and... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's reptilian CGI! Well thanks 1MD for that simple explanation. It just goes to show if you do a little bit of research and ask the people in the know, it can reveal a truth. Not that truth and research is something that enters in the world of Natuba now is it? Let's get on with it. There are a lot of us that have been showing this stuff for years and people are waking up to the deception while some refuse to acknowledge it. In fact many people hold the idea of outer space and NASA very near and dear to their hearts. So much so, that when they are shown this evidence, their ego won't allow them to accept that space is a hoax. 
years of psychological programming through various media doesn't help either. But whether we like it or not, NASA and all the other space agencies are lying to the world. They're lying to you. They're lying to your kids. We've caught NASA too many times to count at this point. Listen here, Nightuba TV. I'll accept anything that is obviously the truth, but you're going to have to prove your case with demonstrable evidence. But until you do that, then people aren't just going to blindly f accept your version of what you think is truth. So far in this video and all of the rest of the videos, I haven't found anything that even comes close to convincing me. So if you're not convincing me, you've got a long way to convincing the rest of the population of the world. So anyway, let's get on with the video. We catch them glitching. As explained very well by One Minute Debunk, these glitches are very common and happen all the time from the space station. But here's the thing, if NASA were trying to convince the world that a fake space station was real, why on earth would they leave such obvious glaring errors for all the world to see that according to you are obvious proofs that the space station is fake? I just don't think you thought this through very well, have you, Tuba? There's this one video where the actor is going around a corner and he is faded out before making it completely out of the viewer's sight. Well, they are right. That was manipulation, but it's called video editing. That was actually taken during a recording where the video editor transitioned the astronaut out a little bit too early. So he faded out before he went round the corner. That's something that can be done just by anybody with basic video recording skills, including me. But notice there was no explanation as how that astronaut was moving through the space station like that. Can you explain that, Natuba? Let's not forget space bubbles. Dave Williams about to move out of the Quest airlock. Uh, those particles that you see emanating from uh, the airlock is uh, said by the EVA officer, Paul Baim, in mission control to be uh, particles of water from the crew's uh, sublimators on their spacesuits. Oh, really, Natuba, this old one? Did you notice in some of those clips that the so-called space bubbles are going off in different directions, particularly when you see the astronaut coming out of the airlock. I mean, you can see many examples of this in lots of other videos on YouTube. I mean, have a look at this NASA water training tank called the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Do the bubbles coming from the scuba divers really look anything like the so-called space bubbles that you see in those clips? Really in a tuba? So um, many times during um, spacewalks outside the International Space Station, we can see air bubbles rising up. Can you touch on how there are air bubbles in space? Um, air, 
Can you be more specific, air bubbles? So yeah, like a lot of times during the footage, the NASA footage, you can see bubbles coming up out of the helmets or kind of from underneath you. Um, how do you explain bubbles in space? Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Oh, and it just happens that actors train in an underwater tank. First, we see a clip of Scott Kelly being questioned about these so-called space bubbles and using him trying to get clarification as to what the questioner means by these so-called space bubbles, as if he is trying to avoid the question and thus giving the viewer the impression that Scott Kelly has got something to hide. But then notice how quickly the video stops just when Scott Kelly was about to give an explanation. Very convenient. But then what's even funnier they prove my point by showing the, the training swimming tank and the scuba divers. And of course showing the bubbles coming from the scuba divers. I think you debunked your boat yourself on both those points there, Natuba. NASA tells us that the Earth is photoshopped because it has to be. It is photoshopped, but it's it's has to be. Then there was another layer to sort of simulate the atmosphere. And then there's this little bright spot. It's called the specular highlight. So it's the reflection of sunlight off of water. Those are the pieces, but you can't just slap them all together. It just didn't look realistic. It looks kind of flat or the clouds are sort of too see-through. So I just hit Command Z a lot. There's artistry to creating the world. It, what I imagine it to be. Um, unfortunately, I'm not an astronaut. <laughs> I've never been to space. Oh God, another, another old chestnut. Ugh. Yes, they are composites because until recently, no spacecraft, apart from the Apollo missions of 1969 to 1972, had gone far enough away from the Earth to take a whole picture of the Earth. Yeah, it wouldn't make, to make a blind bit of difference to you if there were thousands of pictures of the whole Earth, because you would never accept them. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. There are literally thousands of pictures of taken of the whole Earth in one photo. I almost forgot. There are literally thousands taken from the Deep Space Climate Observatory of the whole Earth. But would you accept those? No, of course you wouldn't, because you'll claim CGI. Another convenience for you, Natuba. Hypocrisy reigns supreme in the world of Natuba TV. In the space. Some NASA actors say that you can totally see stars when you're in space. Whilst in space, have you ever looked away from Earth into the black void? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, because yeah, you time. can see, yeah, because yeah. you can see the stars. Oh yeah. It, yeah. You know, and, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. Yeah. It's, it's not a black cool void. Thing. I mean, it's black, but there's all kinds of little polka dots. There's all the there's all the stars there, and the cool thing is about it, you can see it during the day. Yeah, you can, and there's more than stars. You can see planets. You can right. see moons. You, you see the ga the gas. Uh, Magellan clouds of yeah, the Milky yeah, Way galaxy. Yeah, yeah, you see the Magellanic clouds. Magellanic, see, I, was, yeah. I just wanted the well, Magellan clouds. Well, there's a large clouds. one and a small one, right? Yeah. And, and then you can see uh, the zodiacal light. Whoa. But the NASA actors from 1969 say that you can't see the stars in space. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Corolla what what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. You can see the stars. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. I don't remember seeing any. Oh, for crying out loud! How many times? The Apollo astronauts said they could not see stars from the lunar surface. They did not say anything about not seeing stars from space, as you claim. However, the space shuttle astronauts could see stars because they did not have the reflected light from the lunar surface to contend with that causes what they call or what is known as light pollution, which makes it difficult for human eyes to pick out the relatively dim lights of stars next to a bright light source. Got it now? Well, we'll leave it there, because that's about as much stupidity and dishonesty as I can take for one day. The next part of the video goes into a lot about why we didn't leave low Earth orbit since Apollo. 
but I think that subject's been talked to death. And if you look on YouTube, you'll find YouTube videos all over the place that discuss that very same subject. And after that, all it does, it just goes into a lot of rhetoric about why they think NASA is lying to us and repeating the same thing over and over and over again. NASA is lying, NASA is lying, NASA is lying. And to be honest with you, it's boring. It's the same old rhetoric we've heard all over and over again. And it's repeated in a lot of Natuba's videos. The difference being that I and we can prove that we went to the moon. We can prove that there's satellites orbiting the Earth and we can prove that the space station exists. However, you, YouTuber, can present nothing that hasn't already de been debunked before. Other than that, all you have is the same old rhetoric. It only leads me to thank my co-producer, One Minute Debunk, for helping with me with this video. Go and check out his channel. He does, does lots of debunks in under one minute just as it says on the tin. So subscribe to his channel, hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified when he uploads more videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. That way, it is more likely that more people will see the video. But most importantly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified when I upload more videos. So that only leaves me the last thing to say. Thank you for watching, and science is true.